on BBC Local Radio in the South West, Close Up Talkback with Ian Phillips. Good evening. Crime figures are on the increase. The crime detection rate is falling. And many people in the South West are dissatisfied with policing. The reasons are many and often complex. Comments like, we need more policemen on the beat and why don't the police do something about it, are familiar cries. Then there are the beliefs of many that some work should not be the responsibility of policemen at all, like transporting wide loads and general security. Others will argue that when police are doing their jobs well, the system itself doesn't back them up, with many criminals still managing to remain free in society. Some would argue that the police have far too much paperwork and simply don't have time to catch criminals and that morale in the force is at an all-time low. But whatever your view, most would agree that the situation is far from rosy and that improvements of some description are vital. Well, during the next hour or so, we'd like to hear your thoughts, your ideas, your views on this controversial subject. Or perhaps you'll have a question that you'd like to put directly to our studio guests, who tonight are Richard Monk, Assistant Chief Constable for Devon and Cornwall, and Alan Salisbury, Chairman of the Police Federation. Good evening to you both, gentlemen. Good evening. Let's uh, get straight on with the uh, action on the telephones and remind you that the telephone number is 0752 269 611. That's 075... Kitch, but it's clearly theft. Now, if we could only tackle that, then goods get cheaper. And, well, that affects us all. Right. Let's take the next call on 0752-269-611. John, you're in Torquay. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, it is really going back to the issue of uh, street crime, which uh, I feel in my experience that the police are onto it pretty quickly. Um, I have very recent experience of that. Uh, I was in a laundrette last night, and uh, about 6.30, a couple of blokes came in, and they started raiding the um, cash uh, sections of uh, every washing machine in the place. And I uh, managed to get out um, and make a phone call from the, the shop next door, and within five minutes, the police were there in a car. Three of the officers uh, came and uh, took details from us very quickly, and they were off. Um, whether they catch them or not, I don't know, but certainly that is evidence that they are uh, putting their best into it. So your, your, your belief is, after your experience, uh, that uh, the police are doing what they can do? I certainly think so, in the case of this type of thing, um, that they seem to be doing it very well. And There were three officers there straight away, and shortly afterwards a couple more took statements from us. So obviously the manpower is there. We already know there's uh, been an increase in manpower, and it it's appears to me, from my experience, that it's being used in a good way. And if you're called at a later date um, because you witnessed this, will you have any hesitation in, in uh, cooperating with the police? No, I... I uh, I don't have too much fear about that because, uh, you know, I'd like to see it stamped out and um, I would give my cooperation in an uh, identity parade or whatever. Right. I'd like to say there, uh, Ian, uh, good evening, John. Hello. And let's read really thank you for being so public-spirited and coming forward and assisting us. Um, I said on the uh, programme earlier this evening that the fighting crime is a joint venture. It's not just under the police service is down to the police service and the community which we serve. Mm. And it's through people like yourself that do come forward and assist us in reporting crime and assisting us with our inquiry that really helps us greatly and does keep the lid on crime within our society. And I'd like to thank you very much for coming forward. Okay. Thank you, John. Right. Bye-bye right. now. John mm. was in Torquay. His line is clear for you on Plymouth 269 That's 0752-269-611. Gordon's in Plymouth. Hello, Gordon. Okay, this is are you going to start calling me John of Torquay now? <laughs> yeah, you want that name, John of Torquay? No, I, I think I like Martin of Plymouth, actually. I like them. So what do you think of this uh, business with the police? Well, I really don't like it, you know. I don't want you in trouble. Oh, I see. All right. So love you, love, my love. Yes, <laughs> but I want to see these criminals in prison. No, I don't want you in trouble, alright? Okay. If the police ask you something, you just say you don't recognize them, alright? Oh. Just save your life, alright? No, please. Well, what if I went into the police station wearing a beard and a funny hat and a suit? 
And they wouldn't, they wouldn't know who I was then. No, no, even though, even though you're like that, That's they know cool. that, they know already your face because by the time you enter, you're alone there, that they are making that rubber, right? Okay. So they can still remember you. It's not I'm gonna bomb your okay. face with my two hands, alright? Oh. Yeah, oh, yes. I'll do that. I understand. Alright. Bye.